Oh, I'm Dr. Fred Jones, and I have the privilege of speaking with Pastor, uh, Coach, and Reverend Sherry Jackson. Uh, she's a pastor, and uh, she's a coach to pastors, and she's the creator of the Pastors, the Preachers Academy, the Preachers Academy. Uh, uh, coach Sherry, it's good to speak with you. How are you today, ma'am? I am going good. I'm kind of exhausted because I have been uh, coaching all day, so... I'm I'm exhausted, but hey, I am happy to be here because I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a few months ago, um, uh, we talked and you were interested in coaching and moving into this arena. And then since since that time, you've taken the leap, you've released another book, and now you're an international Amazon number one best-selling author of the book, Sermon prep made easy, six steps every preacher should take before reaching the pulpit. And before you even began to start talking about that, I just want to say I'm one of those preachers who have taken those six steps and it yeah. changed my life tremendously. So I'm a firm believer in what you do and uh, what, you, what you're teaching people. So I want to hear more about it. So before you started working with me, uh, what was your struggle? What were you wrestling with? Well, trying to make sense of um, how to take what I was already doing to another level. Uh, when I discovered that preachers uh, were bypassing their pastors and people in their churches and were seeking me out to help them to develop their sermons, I, I decided that, you know, I really have something here that I need to put into some type of um, business in order to um, go beyond what I was doing. And look, not to just do it for free, not to do it for free. That, you know, that that's the bottom line. Um, but basically to take it further, to take it further. I was already doing it, but I needed to put it in a system. And so, so, yeah, so tell me what were you doing? And you said people were seeking you out. So you had knowledge, you had a set of skills, and you were doing some things, and people saw this, they were seeking you out, and you were doing it, and you were helping them. And then tell me more about that. Well, um, with my training, I have a Master's of Divinity from United Theological Seminary. I have a Master's in Adult Education. And so um, I have this passion, this gift, and this anointing, these skills of teaching and training. And so I was doing that kind of like on a local level. Um, I was working with preachers. I'm working with um, pastors, training them, helping to develop them, even to get them ready for ordination. Um, but then it, it, it came to where um, I had some new ministers who were preaching their first sermons who sought me out for help. Um, they had a church, they had a pastor, they had other preachers at their church, but they, saw, they sought me out to help them develop those first sermons. And I did, and they preached, and, I, and people say, you know, I know they had been with you. I know they had been with you because I know your worth. And so I decided after those two that I would develop a system um, in an organized way in order to better serve and support preachers um, who did not have any formal um, theological training. Mm -hmm. And so that's what um, I'm doing. Okay, so now what led you to uh, want to reach out to Publish Me Now University and, and uh, uh, Dr. Fred Jones for coaching and so forth? Well, um, as, as you said earlier, you know, we had worked together as far as training as on a, a preaching level. And I had seen you and, you know, I knew your work and I knew your skills and um, I would kind of like be dancing around it, be dancing around it. And um, I finally, you know, there's always a million reasons why not. Um, but we finally, I finally said, yes, I'm going to go ahead on and do this. Still did not know quite 
what it was, but I did know that you had a set of skills that could help me to reach my goals. And so um, we talked about it. We finally, you know, worked through the uh, particulars and made it happen. And so, um, I, I, again, I knew your work. I knew your skills. I knew your experiences. I knew your of your anointing in this area to coach others, you know, as the book coach, um, I just need to figure out how I can make it work for me. And so we finally got that done and it has been, it has been off to the races <laughs> ever since. There was something that you did that I haven't had too many people to tell me that they did. You asked to speak with other people that I would worked with yes. that wanted to have their phone numbers. Tell me about that process. Well, you know, um, it's an investment. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's an investment. And so I needed to see some end results. I needed to know that if I was going to step out and do this, that I, I needed to see somebody who had done it. I needed to see the end goal. Because, you know, it's one thing. There's a lot of coaches out here. There's a lot of people out here who are saying what they can do. But I needed to see if I was going to take this leap, if I was going to make the sacrifice and the investment, I needed to make sure that I was going to get a return on my investment. And so I did. I asked to speak to at least three people, I believe. And I ended up talking to two. And from there, you know, it's kind of like a thing you're going to either do it or you're not. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you enrolled in one of my classes, uh, a, a, a six weeks class that I had. Uh, to give me your uh, take on it. What was that experience like? Was it worth your time? Okay. Let me let me go at it like this. So first, I you know I'm in the the group thing, group coaching thing, and so much stuff was coming at me. Um, and my head was all over the place because I would, it just was so much and I was trying to do this and this and this and that and um, I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see a clear path. And so I need to see the end and I couldn't see an end with what I was doing because I was pulling at too many things. And so through this six week course, the return on your investment course, it centered me in, um, okay, this is where we're going to start and this is where we're going to end up. So I had an end result. You see, as a, um, being in the newspaper industry, every day there's a start and there's a finish. You start with a clean piece of paper and you're, at night you got a full newspaper. Every day there's a start and a stop. I couldn't see that before. In the six week course, I saw the beginning that was laid out for me, where we were gonna start, the steps we we're gonna get, and at the end, you're gonna have this. And so that in itself um, was well worth it because there was an end game and I reached the end. Did, you, did the course deliver everything that it promised? The course delivered everything that it promised and more. Um, being in this course, not only with you, but being in the course with others um, allowed me the opportunity to get feedback. And see, I feed off of energy. I feed off of the energy of others. And so being in the course with other people, having those weekly calls, and then, you know, once you put fire, you know, it's just kind of like a good sermon. You get a good sermon, you need a response. And so we, um, we get that good fired up and then we go go back in the trenches do the work and you'd be so glad to get online and to uh, say you know i got my copyright i got this i got that i'm a book cover you know and so um we fed off of each other you know you 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 gave us the fire and we were able to you know do what we need to do with each other so having that energy um really helped and yes um, the, the end result, it, it delivered, and more. Now, you are already a published author. Uh, what has it meant 
to you or what is it meaning to you to have that little title? Well, I won't say little title. Don't say little. No, it's not a little title. <laughs> it is a huge title. International Amazon number one best-selling author. What is that experience? When I first saw it, when I first, and, and it did it within, um, I think it did it within, um, I don't know if I got it that night, that morning, I don't know. But when I first saw it, I was like, wow, you know, wow, 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 wow. I got it. I did this. And to see that, you know, I like to win. Let's just be, I like to win. <laughs> and so having that as a win, um, like you said, you can't take that back. You know, if I don't sell another book, I got the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So now talk to me about you. You were in my Finish Your Book program. And as a result of being in Finish Your Book, you got the bonus. That was the six-week course. So you got the bonus course with that. But in the meantime, you've also landed your first paying client. So tell tell me about that. Tell us about that. Well, well um, again, um, I got my first client. Um, a private client, um, actually a pastor's wife out of um, Southern California. Now, I'm in Central Louisiana, and she's in Southern California. And she um, heard about me, or she found me through one of my uh, Facebook lives. So I, um, some kind of way, we were friends connected with somebody else. And, and so she found me, and she... Um, connected through me, through my Facebook page. She did the call to action button. She hit it, sent the email and said, this, you're what I've been praying for. Um, a pastor's wife, you're right. And so I wasn't even going after pastor's wives. I was going after preachers and, and pastors. And so um, for six weeks, for six weeks, we, we trained uh, privately. I um, went through the six steps based upon my book, Summer Prep Made Easy, Six Steps Every Preacher Should Take Before Reaching the Pulpit. We went through that process and we finished the course and, and the end result was she was able to preach the sermon to me. And so um, she was just excited and, and, and excited about doing this. And uh, one of the questions you always have us to ask, what are your obstacles? Uh, and how can I serve you and support you in overcoming your obstacles in, in your in reaching your goal? And hers was, I want to be able to stand with confidence. I want to be able to stand um, knowing what I'm saying. And so the question after was, have I served you? Have I sort of supported you in overcoming your obstacles? She said, yes, I feel bold. I can just go and, you know, I can preach this. And, you know, so she was so excited. We did a testimonial um, video um, in our last class. Um, and so that was just, it boosted my confidence. You know, I know, you know, I know I got it. You know, I know that God has gifted me with this, but it's just the idea that somebody else would see you from afar, trust you to help them to be the best that they could be. And pay you, right? And pay me. And pay, and pay. And while that was going on, I had a six-week course on what is the Bible where 10 people enrolled, and that ended, and I'm rolling out another, and people are enrolling in that course also. So um, I think I've been in the program since about maybe August, I think, and just that much, um, it, it, it has just been transforming. And when you go out into the community, that's the preacher's coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That's, that's the, so it keeps me on my, it keeps me on my, it keeps me on my toes to be strategic. Um, and one of the things that um, you often talk about and has really been transforming is that when you take a look at all of the things that you have invested to get what you have, um, that's a part of your worth. That's that's a part. You know, I tease about ninety thousand dollars in student loans, but that's an investment that um, I have made, and I can no longer sell myself short. Um, 
because of these gifts and skills and anointing that God has given me. And uh, there are people who um, are waiting for what I have. I can see and hear the transformation and the change in you. Can you put it in words to me how this course and this coaching experience has changed your life? Um, it has boosted, um, it has changed me to, to walk in it, you know, to, to, to walk in, uh, you know, it's one thing, you know, to be a preacher, to do Bible study, to be, you know, but when people seek you out, um, because of those skills and they are willing to pay you for it, it helps you. I can't go backwards. I gotta move forward. I can't. I can't go backwards and just be sharing. <laughs> I am the preacher's coach, mm -hmm. and so and to hear people say, um, um, you know, I don't want to do malpractice in the pulpit. I don't want to do malpractice in the pulpit. You know, that's I can't explain it. But there has been a um um. It's overwhelming. It, it, it's, it's, it is overwhelming. Um, but I can't go backwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would you do it all over again as far as rewriting your book and going on this bestseller journey? And going well, to okay, so talking about now um, rewriting the book. So the, the book that I have published, Not Built to Break, I am re doing that to include a um, um, devotional, make a devotional out of it. So this has um, helped me because I can see, I can see now. See, I was blind, but now I see that, that in more ways than one. It's not just a spiritual thing, but this whole process is spiritual too. So um, yeah. I didn't know all of this before, you know, I've been writing the book for 10 years, <laughs> took me 10 years to write, you know, that book and I turned it over to somebody because I wanted to get the book out. But uh, now I can see it. I can see it. Do you believe every preacher should be a published author? Yeah, uh, well, they do, especially if they're manuscript preachers, they're already doing it now. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I do. Um, there's so much more that you can do beyond the pulpit. Um, the methods are the same to get there um, as far as sermons, but um, you can do so much beyond um, the pulpit because, you know, I can take a sermon and turn it into a book, turn it into a devotional turn it into um, a speak, you know, just a whole kind of, you know, all kinds of things, but you have to see it. And oftentimes we are just confined to the pulpit and, and it's beyond that. Church is everywhere. Is there anything you want to share that I didn't ask you or that I should have asked? Any other closing comments? Well, I just want to say that um, you um, are or um, a, and you always say you are an encourager. You are, um, you take no, you don't take no for an answer. <laughs> um, and, and, and you push and um, for lack of a better word, you are a beast at this and, and doing what you do. And so um, I think that um, there's none to compare. I get all kinds of emails. I see all kinds of things about, you know, publish your book now um, in 30, 90 days, in 30 days, whatever, 21 days. I see all of that. Um, so there's a lot of people out here doing it. And of course, I haven't worked with them, but I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't need to. There is no need to. And so um, I just thank you for not taking no. <laughs> Um, as an answer, because um, I could have been still giving this away, and um, because I'm so passionate about it, I'm so passionate about it, 
but at the same time, um, as you always say, people pay for what they want and beg for what they need. Wow, wow. That is so real, that is so true. I wanna thank you for your time. Thank you for what you've shared. Um, I truly believe in what you're doing. Um, uh, people struggle every Sunday and don't realize they're struggling and they dress up, they put their clothes on and they pay money to go be abused by somebody for 45 minutes or an hour. And I don't want to get off on that, but we need help in the pulpit. And what you offer, I believe every preacher should be in some type of training. And it, and, and, and I want to say this, some people want to say, okay, we don't, uh, I want to get in some place where I get a certificate or some kind of certification or something. Your certification and your certificate comes when people come up to you at the end of the sermon and say, I've never heard you preach a message so good. I've had that now repeatedly since I've been in the academy and since I've been working with you. I mean, I have family members to come up to me and say, that's one of the best sermons you ever preached. I had people to come to me two or three weeks after the sermon saying, you know, that word you shared the other day was just right on. So that's the impact of what I see you doing. And when you help one, you help many. So I, 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 the, so the impact and the value of what you bring to someone is just compounded. It's compounded. So I'm honored to call you my coach and to say that I've been in the Preacher's Academy. I was there in the early days of the Preacher's yes. Academy. And uh, uh, I think you're on to something, and I'm excited to see where God is taking you. Well, thank you so much. Um, it takes a coach to know a coach. <laughs> you're definitely a coach. You're definitely a coach. And you're doing a fine job. So keep up the good work. And I look forward to catching up with you the next time and see what other great things you uh, have accomplished through your academy. Thank, Thank you for trusting me to do the job. You're doing it. You're doing it.